this third degree burn on the 60, uh, 64 third degree burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos searing Lord, Lord of Flames. Keep fighting the chaos that lives inside me Trying to hold down the beast But it's hard to do that Cause everybody angers me And triggers it I live in this world of this uh, Kansas City uh, City What is up my Archfiends of Chaos This is your king in the night Vince of Valentine EX Turk And We're gonna be getting into some Final Fantasy territory, at least, I guess I should just try, I should just say this is a week of, we're going to call this a week of Final Fantasy 15, considering, you know, Final Fantasy 15 is getting a season pass too, so we're going to be putting more 15. I just thought this would be over, but since Final Fantasy 15 is still rev relevant until, uh, tw until 2019, I guess we'll just keep up the gravy train, but... To, to sum it up, we're, I'm, I'm going to talk about why I think Ravis is a better rival character than Cypher was. Remember, Cypher turned it. Yes, they are both were bad guys. But Cypher turned into a bad guy because he couldn't stand losing to Squall. And Cypher was a big baby about it. As well as been a big baby about losing his girlfriend. Even though he did the stuff himself because he wanted to become... He wanted to become stronger. As Ravis, Ravis actually had a chip on his shoulder and gave him the reasons why to, gave Ravis reasons, gave L Ravis legitimate reasons to hate the Lucian family. And not only that, but he also wanted to make sure Sh Noctis is strong enough to actually, uh, actually keep the, you know, to keep people safe from the scourge. Because his sister put so much faith in him, he wanted to know. He wanted to know. He wanted to know all the hype. Ravis wanted to know. Uh, Ravis, you know, Ravis knew. Okay, Ravis wanted. You know, Ravis wanted to know all the hype. What was the hype about, and to see if the hype actually, if he lives up to the hype that his sister said. But not only that, Ravis was a good rival on the fact that. You know, everybody treated Noctis uh, like royalty, and everyone's nice to him. And let's be honest, realistically, you gotta have, there's gotta be one person that just don't like you. There's gotta be one person that just hates you for no reason. You know, for I mean, not maybe not for no reason, but there's always got in real life. And that's what I like about Final Fantasy 15. Final Fantasy 15 was a more realistic Final Fantasy than any others. Sadly, even more than seven for me, because of how big of a fan I am was seven. But you know. It kind of had real interactions. There's always going to be that one person that just don't like you. And then they find out they like you a little bit later on. But he, the reason why he didn't like Noctis because he didn't think Noctis was worthy enough to to take his father's sword. So he was holding on to his father's sword until, Noct until he was completely, completely ready to take on the responsibilities of you know, of the Ascended King, since Ravis couldn't do it. Plus, another reason why Ravis was actually turned into, you know, turned to what he is, is because he thought he was chosen and didn't want not to be chosen. He thought he was the one who was chosen to save the world, which obviously not. Lost his arm and uh, and led the Nephilim Empire. But it was also the fact that he had a chip on his shoulder because of where, where he just did. And he thought Noctis would end up doing the same thing Regis ended up doing because he thought Regis was a failure. So, Ravis actually had a better reasoning to do everything. And I like Ravis on the fact that Ravis was a more realistic character in the series. Because there's got to be that one person that just don't like you. Or at least, you got to at least prove something to them because there's always gonna be that one person you can't just talk your way out there's that one person that will always you know say you're garbage until you prove you're not garbage so you know plus he had, actually had a heart you know he really cared about his sister now he does now Ray, the only problem with Ravis is Ravis was too emotional for his own good you know he was too and I guess being raised by a single mother queen it could do that to you. He was way too emotional. Like when Luna Freya was about to pass, he was willing to kill Noctis, the man that she and tr that that Luna entrusted his her dreams to. Instead of realizing, I don't know, maybe this is Arden's fault because Arden's the one who started this. Plus, Arden was the one who actually put the blow that killed Luna. But that's not the point. You know, 
Ravens has a chip on his shoulder. He don't think Noctis is worthy for the king. And he's that one guy that just says, all these people that are hyping this person up, the hype is not what it thinks. He's more realist. Ravis was more of a real, li- real li- was more of a realist than um, than nihilistic. As for Cipher, Cipher was a nihilistic because he just hated the fact that someone can, you know, someone who is a lot lower than him on the on the seed squad was better than him all this time. As a matter of fact, Squall even took over and became the leader of Seed during Final Fantasy VIII, and you know Cipher couldn't take it. But, you know, Cypher abandoned the team and pretty much assassinated, he tried to make assassination attempts on the president just because he just couldn't have his way. So pretty much the problem is, so the pretty, so pretty much the problem, pretty much the problem, you know, pretty much the problem is with that is that, um, it's, it's, also, it's, it's the fact that, you know, it's the fact that he's not destined and that's because Cypher has abandoned his team. Nearly murdered a president for, you know, nearly murdered a president. Not to mention, Cypher is a big simp. Cypher is one of the biggest Final Fantasy simps. He really, you know, he has some weird thing going on with Sorceress Ultimicia. Because Ultimicia promised him power. And it's not only that, but Cypher has to pick on other people, you know, such as Zell. Who's not socially there just to make himself feel good. And even then, Cypher is more of a joke than Zell was. Because Cypher, you know, because Cypher was a little bitch. Cypher is a bitch. He's a simp. He did everything to for Solstice Ultimate Shit for a little bit of power just because he lost his girl. Yeah, you lost your girl to a better man, Squall. And... He have a and, and Cipher had a good back, you know, better backstory. Now, yes, yeah, Cipher and Squall were both orphans, but if Cipher would have stayed on the side of Seed, he could have had a better life. He could have had a better life, and maybe Renault probably would have stayed with Cipher. But Cipher, Cy- uh, Cipher abandons his girl, bullies people, and gets and simps so hard to Ultimicia. At least with Ravis, Ravis would not simp. You know, Ravis was just looking after his sister all along. And, you know, just uh, understandably didn't like the Lucy's Kylan family. Understandably. And Ravis wanted to actually push Noctis. It wasn't about being against Noctis. It said in his notes, too. He was just trying to push Noctis to prove that Luna Frey is not a liar. And he did. He even said in the notes that the one that one day it happens... The Regis' sword's his. And in fact, he realized that after episode Ignis. You know? That's why he said, you know, good luck to you and Noctis. You know, before he hated Noctis. But Ravis, you know, you know, threw, the, threw his emotions away. And I was like, you know what? He's worthy of the sword. Let's give him the sword. You know, when I get over there. But I think Ravis had to use the sword to take out Idolus and everything else. But nonetheless... You know, Ravis actually had... Li- Ravis was also trying to build up Noctis's morale to become the Ascended King so he can end the darkness. While Cypher was playing Simp all over Final Fantasy VIII. It's VIII's world, you know? Is Cypher even trying to sacrifice his ex-girlfriend to Sorceress Adele? Like, I don't know what a bitch and a simp is. Go look up Cypher in the dictionary for Final Fantasy characters. He would His picture would be there. Just because he lost. But Ravis actually had reasons to join the Empire. Because of everything that happened to, between King Regis and his mom. And he was left alone. And the fact he thinks Noctis is going to do the same thing. Understandably why he would think that. Because well... Noctis is the son of King Regis. I mean, you know, so you can't blame Ravis. But in the end, Ravis put set aside his Ravis set aside his feelings to help Noctis. You know, he put those notes right there. Even though Artie could have took that sword, he didn't take that sword for the reason he wanted Noctis to ascend. But you know, that sword was right next to Ravis, as if Ravis would have. Gave that to him. Now, Arden made those look like suicide letters, but that, we're not talking about that. 
But nonetheless, pretty much Ravis would have found a way to give that sword to Noctis. Because he put his feelings aside and realized, you know what? We got a common enemy. It's fucking Arden. You know, I'm going to man up and just accept that you're the king. Even, even if I don't personally believe it, I'm going to go ahead and trust my sister who died for you. So, Ravis actually puts his feelings up and becomes a man. And mans up, gives a sword, he mans up. Even though Noctis has to go find the sword, he mans up. And then he, Ravis got big ass balls. Ravis charges up to the Emperor Idolus' throne and tell Idolus to suck a fat one. Pretty much. You don't see, okay, you don't see Cypher telling Old Tumisia to suck a fat one. No, he still stays loyal until, uh, Cypher still stays loyal until she no longer needs him anymore. And then, or at least until she gets defeated. But Ravis storms up to his his master, Idolus, the Emperor, and tells Idolus, suck a fat one. So, yes, that's why I think Ravis is a better character. Ravis has a better backstory and the reasons for what he did. His motivations was better than Cypher's. Ravis was not a simp. He was doing this to look after his sister. And he only and he was actually truly trying to test Noctis all this time to make Noctis into the king he's supposed to be. So that's why I think Ravis is a much better rival character. This is my opinion. Don't get angry. Don't act like soy boys and type on your keyboards. Actually, go ahead and do that. Please do. You know, please do. Because I know most of you guys go like, Oh, how dare you? Cypher's my favorite. How dare you? Oh, look at this. I know there's going to be some people in there. There's going to be some, um... Bitch boys in there, but nonetheless, this is my opinion. Please don't take this too seriously. May the crystal be with you.